We make the rules, pal. The news, war, peace, spam, and upheaval, the price of a paper clip. We picked that rabbit out of the hat while everybody sits out there wondering how the hell we did it. I'll go, right? All right, so very early on, one thing that I noticed is that the Knicks giving their players the green light to take shots right away. We've taken quite a few shots in this game with plenty of time left on the shot clock. And it's good to see the Knicks nowadays actually have a more modernized offense. See, before those years with Fizdale and Jeff Hornacek and just that slow kind of style we used to play where we finish at least bottom five in the league in pace, it's a relief that the Knicks have a more modern style of play, especially with Carl Anthony Towns being there. Now check out Towns right here, right on the pass to Bridges. Once again, guys got the green light to just go off this season. And this is one of the reasons why I believe Tibbs is gonna get the nickname Tibbs D'Antoni by the end of all this. Once again, right here, the Knicks in transition. Check out Carl Anthony Towns, the last one to come down the court. The spacing is on point. Not too many guys down low. The big man is compromised. You got to come out. And yeah, Towns is going to get the green light to go off here. And we can see the fast paced characteristics playing out, even with the bench unit. Tyler Kohler getting the green light to let it off. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. It seems like Tom Thibodeau this season is going to put on his best Mike D'Antoni toupee and just let this Knicks offense ride out very similar to the steve nash phoenix suns here's car anthony towns once again in transition having the freedom even though he was cold down the stretch he has the freedom to take this shot you can see the knicks identity forming but just looking through the annals of nba time the knicks having a legendary hall of famer as patrick ewing he had the ability to take these kind of shots but not necessarily the freedom to Here's a prime example of the Knicks coming down in transition and check out Patrick Ewing. He is the last one to come down on the weak side. So any modern big of today, this will be a wide open shot. But just look at the habits. Look where Ewing parks himself at. It just wasn't the norm of players back then. Just imagine Ewing right here having the freedom without any hesitation to just pull up off rip in transition. Now the Bulls on this blitz right here, as Anthony Mason begins his attack, look at Patrick Ewing. He's gonna get comfortable in this mid range right here, but the bigs of today would have stepped back, backpedaled into a three point shot. It just wasn't the norm. Now right here, we're gonna see a pick and roll with Greg Anthony and Patrick Ewing. Now check out Ewing off this roll. He's not gonna roll to the three point line. He's just gonna roll into the empty space. This was just the norm back then. And just take that, that long mid range. Again, looking at the habits between Ewing and Greg Anthony on the pick and roll. Look at Ewing as he rolled. He doesn't necessarily roll to the three point line as we see bigs do of today. It just wasn't the norm. He just settles for the long mid range. Now check out this pick and roll between John Starks and Ewing. Look how Ewing rolls. But imagine right now if he just took a step back, camped out at the three-point line. Let's just say he was playing today. Look when Starks turns and actually finds him. He would have not found him right here for the mid-range shot. He would have found him back here at the corner. Fast forward till today, the big man looks a lot different in these pick and rolls. Check out KP instead of attacking the open space. He pops out still he has a lot of open space right here to attack and he still settles for the three and this is normalized and is part of today's modern offenses just seeing the evolution of today's modern bigs the knicks when they had kp they actually had better spacing they just had no dribble penetrators that's really the only difference but with car anthony towns now back on the team they actually finally have the personnel to utilize this with mikhail bridges and og ananobi as well as Josh Hart. But just KP having the freedom right here to just pull up and take a three on a smaller defender instead of just backing him down on the mismatch, hoping to draw another defender for someone else to make a cut. These are the types of options we really couldn't utilize KP to the fullest 
with the spacing that he created back in uh 2017 or 2016 when he was on the Knicks. 